recording is okay fine so what uh, what we have seen till now is that uh we we have seen how this mongoose is helping us to create the schema which was not there in uh, mongodb client when we were using the mongodb client there was no schema but this mongoose is giving us schema so mongoose is nothing but it is doing the same thing what mongo client was doing but the only addition we see here is the schema part other than that mongodb client was also helping us to connect to mongodb database and mongoose is also helping us to connect only the syntax is different but it is able to connect even mongodb was able to do that but this part was not possible there this specifying the structure of the object that first name should come first then post then batch this thing was not there in mongo mongo client now we are having this thing so this is an added feature added security feature this is no this you can say as security feature this is you can know uh, tell as type checking anything okay so <clears throat> that kind of things are there in mongoose okay fine now here we have a lot of new methods like this student.find so these are coming from mongoose model if you see when i put my mouse over this it is saying const student is of type mongoose.model these are not real mongodb methods to get what we are doing to save we are using this save method what is this save method again this is mongoose method mongodb has some other methods like to insert one object to save one uh, document we have insert one method but why are we not using that to use that insert one method we have to use mongodb client but again the problem is we are not getting this schema structure to use this same schema structure we have to use the mongoose and in mongoose we not only get the schema but we have these added methods instead of writing insert one a big method i am writing only save so this is better no and it instead of mm -hmm. okay okay so instead of uh, writing that big method we are writing only save now just like that we have a lot of things but this find find was al already there so a lot of methods have changed in uh, mongoose in uh, mongodb we have some separate method but mongoose is modifying them so that uh, <clears throat> it is easiest for us to write it now now what is the next thing we have seen this what is this thing doing let's say localhost where on what port it is running 4600 so let me go to localhost 4600 slash what is it students if i pass this what do i get I'm getting only one student. Why? Now, <clears throat> where is that thing? I'm going to be compass. Okay. So what was happening here? Here only one student is there. That's why I'm getting only one student. If there are 10 students, I'll get 10 students. Now, this we have seen. And to achieve this, what did we do? We just uh, this has nothing to do with the request because when I'm getting, I'm uh, just typing the URL. I'm not passing anything in the request actually. Although it is an HTTP request, it is a GET request. You can see from here, it is a GET request. Okay, but this RQ contains this information. If you do console log of RQ, you will get what is the request type. Request type is get request type is not post request type is get a lot of things are there but we are not using the rq because this itself is giving us the data because what i'm doing here is when the path is this do this i'm saying so it is able to give us now now what is the next thing that we saw yesterday we saw how to add a new document to the 
database to the collection okay so what we did i just specified a new path and uh, what we need to do is we need to create a property like this uh, no, a variable like this and it we need to pass an object to new student we are creating a new object and that new student is a model okay mongoose.document it is saying let no student so this model returns this new thing and new student dot save when i'm doing what it is doing it is saving this this object as a document in the collection which collection students collection of adopoly at database okay fine after saving it i am doing res.json of new student what will this line do this new student object will be sent to the browser because from where we are requesting this request we are sending the request from our browser only now directly from the browser i am writing where is it huh, this one directly from here i am writing so this is the place where I am asking for the request. If I ask it from a React or Angular application, it will send the request, uh, send the response there. Arias, JSON, whatever we are passing, it will send there, not here. Okay. So it depends on from where we are sending the request. There is something called Postman. It is used for checking APIs. If you send a request from Postman, you will get the response in Postman. Not in your application or not in the browser. RES.json doesn't mean that it will send always the things to the browser. Here we are asking the request. We are sending the request from the browser. That's why we are getting it here. So it knows from where you are sending the request. Mm -hmm. Sorry. It, again, I'm saying it is not in the browser from where you are sending. Here I'm sending from browser. That's why it is coming from here. If I send from Angular application, it will send the response to Angular application. Not here. That's why I'm telling you. Okay. It knows from where you are sending the request. In this situation only, I'm sending it from here. So what I want to say is res.json doesn't mean document.write or console.log. It is looking like it is doing what it is looking like it is doing document dot right in the browser but it is not like that what it is doing it is sending the response to that place from the request from where the request was sent here we are sending the request from browser that's why we are getting it there if you send it from some other application you will get the response there not in the browser you will never get it okay okay fine so what we are doing we are doing this area to this of new student this whole thing is passed as a JSON, sent as a JSON to the whoever asked for it. So that means when I say show me Apple iPhone 14 to Flipkart, it is giving me the response. No? It is not giving you the response. How that is happening? Because it knows from where the request is coming. Okay. That's that's how it works. Okay. Fine. Now, now the thing is, what is this object? What is this object? This is a new student object, which I want to save. That is, it is a, I want to save this object as a document in the collection, right? Th then in real time, how this will work? Real time. Will I have this object here? In real time, what will be the scenario? Our backend application will be separate. Database will be separate. Frontend application will be separate. Then how do I save a student? In real time, how do you save a student? If I want to save a new student. Hmm? Say. Haha, uh -huh, sorry. Okay. In database, it will store Express JS will store, but as a user, I don't know what is database, what is Express. As an user, how will I save one user? 
new student in real time i'll be having this scenario see this i'll be having simple nothing this is one database this is the express js this is my computer i am not a developer i don't know anything about express js i don't know anything about database so this is db this is express and this is my computer which is known as client okay so the client needs to so when the client will send something to express okay let me write it like this uh -huh. okay fine it will send it to here and it will go from here to here okay fine but how will the client send the data from where how as a, as an user if someone tells you say one student how will you do from the application that that, uh, that also i got here we have the application then i have the application okay fine now this is my angular or react application from there how do i add, add a student hmm uh -huh. post method okay but post method what if it will do where do i get the user data that means i want to save this object now i want to save this up i so tell that now how will a user save uh, save a user he doesn't i told you i am not, that he is not a developer he doesn't know express he doesn't know angular he doesn't know react how he will save let's say swiggy delivery guy is there if you tell him to add a student how he will do he will say give me a form i will fill up and you save it you do whatever you do i don't know okay so the thing is in our angular or react application we'll have one form there i will write the data automatically that will become one object now at that moment only then that object should be sent as a what request post request if i send it as a get request will anything happen no it will be sent as a post request to express now express will decide because when i'm sending it from the angular or react am i telling telling anything about mongodb no from the angular point of view or react point of view we don't know what is the database it may be uh, mongodb it may be mysql anything okay so i'll just do a post request where i'll pass the object that's it i don't know anything else the axios.get or http client doesn't know anything it has just know that in get request i don't pass anything in post request i pass url and body that's it that is the object that i want to post other than that it knows nothing so when i send it to the express what will happen express will take the data so that means this data will not be there in the express here i am creating here sir created yesterday forcefully that is fine but in real time what will happen it will come from the request that request i have to capture it here in the slash add student path that is this route in this route i have to get it from somewhere okay then i have to after getting the object from the request because in the request what is coming method post body one object right so the moment i get the request i know that okay this is a post method first i uh, suppose i am the express application a react uh, a response is coming uh, sorry request is coming to me first express will ask what it doesn't care what data is coming express will ask what is the method if it says get method he doesn't care about the body get method doesn't care about the body it will only check if there are any params in the route if params is there it will use otherwise it will directly do the get request from the mongodb server uh, yeah mongodb database okay the moment it comes to know that it is a post method second thing it will ask what is there inside the body okay so let's say i am express application you are angular or react you are sending me one request post request 
with no body. So first thing what I will ask you. Hmm? Why body? Just now I told you. First it will ask about the request type. I will ask about request type. What you will tell me? Post. Now next thing what I will ask. If you tell me get. Then I don't care what is there in the body. Because get method doesn't take any body. Even if you pass. That is invalid. It won't give you any error. But it will not work. Because express will not take that. Okay. The post I got to know. Now what I will ask. What is inside the body. But I told you that you are posting without a body. The moment I get to know that you have not passed anything in the body. I will cancel it there itself. Okay. So if it is a post request with no body. Inside the callback whatever is there. Nothing will work. Okay. Because it is your job to send a request. But MongoDB I have to do. No? Now if I request mongodb for a post what is the body i have to pass i don't have the body so it will not work so whenever i am doing a post request i have to pass something in the body okay so we have to do some changes in this block of code first thing what i have to do instead of get post first thing second thing so we have to think about the body. What is to be done to the body. Okay. That body is contained in this request object. Request.body. Okay. We have to get the request.body. First we have to check request.body is having something or not. If there is nothing. See I don't need to check. It will. The moment I write here post. Express will automatically check. If there is nothing. This whole thing will not work. Nothing. It will not show any error. Nothing. It will not do anything else. Okay. But the moment it gets something in the RQ.body, it will take it and then it will start working on this. Are you getting it? If RQ.body is empty or nothing is there, it will not do a single line of code here. Even if I write console.log of high, it will not work. But if there is something, only then it will start working. See, it gets the body. That doesn't mean it will post it. If I have not written the code for posting here, how it will post? Which line of code is posting the code? Can you tell me? Line number? For posting, which line of code is working in this line number 18 to 26? Hmm? Why 26? 26 is... Sending the response to the uh, user. Line number say. I only one line number you have to say. How it will say 19 to 26. Which line is putting the thing there? 25. New student dot save. That line is saving. Okay. So if I don't include this line. It doesn't matter. If there is the body is present, this whole thing will work. It may not save the body, but at least these lines of code will work. When? If I put the post here. If I put get here, it will always work. Everything inside the get will work. Because get doesn't care about the body. Okay. Okay. So we'll see that how to uh, send the post request. Just I'll be back in one minute. So... Just give me a sec. So now we have to see how do we modify this block of code to post. Okay. Now as I told you, if I write get here, even if I send something in the request, it will not take it. So that means this get method is working only for this syntax where I am creating the object here itself but this will not be the case it will always come from some application whether it is uh, plain html css javascript it may happen if we use ajax if we use xml http request object we can send using ajax some body that way also it can come 
it may come from angular it may come from react it may come from any kind of front-end application okay so for that in that cases this get method will fail it will work only if i pass it like this now now the thing is how to achieve that so for that first thing as i told you i have to write here post but after writing post i have to check the req object inside the req where i will get the data from the front end applications it will be in the req dot body okay now is this are these things only things enough let us check okay so how do i do this shall i use some application because i have to use some application okay without using an application i cannot show you right so okay so if i if i do using react i have to write a lot of syntax right i have to do axios dot post again method and all everything i have to write right so let me show you in the angular syntax no need to worry just one line i will write okay that is enough in there i will write only post and the body that's it i'll not write anything okay so just uh, don't be confused give me a few minutes to set up that thing so what is it okay don't worry what is happening in the what it is called front end part we just need to know what is happening here how do we because if i don't send something from some application how do i do console.log of req.body i cannot check what is coming inside req.body right so i have to send something from somewhere so th that kind of situations we need something called postman but currently we don't have it again i need to teach you how to use postman so let me go to the application itself okay so what i'll do is i'll have something here just give me a minute So, <clears throat> so what will happen now? Now I have the setup for a front end application which is doing a post request. Uh -huh, sorry. HTML. Ah, so I cannot show you now form. I don't have time for all that. I am here to teach you MongoDB. I am not here to teach you forms. Okay. So what I will do is I'll just call this method in some way. I have not called the method now. Okay, I'll call the method in some way. This is inside the component. So I'll just call it in the ng on it or something. I'll do. That is not your concern. That is, again, that is not our uh, concern here. What we need to do is the moment this function is called, it should pass this new student object where is this new student object will come this will come from form so in your angular or react you collect the form data and store it in an you always store it in an object now whenever there is a form we always store it in an object that object will pass in our post method so here i am doing a angular so i am writing like this in your axios you will do like that so this will be in your body part in your axios.post you have something called body right ah, in that body property you will pass the new object okay so this is not what i want to show you what i want to show you is what you have to do in your application okay so you pass the object now now what will happen the moment you call this method then what will happen this object from here it is saying that it is a post request so it will go there okay so if you write their post and if you write here get again that is an error because that method and this method is not matching if you write their get and write here post again that is not matching 
again it will create conflict so it should always match if you're doing their delete here also delete should happen if you're doing that post here also post should be there okay now so before asking for the method one more thing is there they will ask whether the methods are matching or not first okay methods are matching they don't care what is the method if it is get get okay it is matching then they will ask what is the method post the moment it says it is post it will ask for body after asking for post if there is no body gone okay now now let us see now first let me not do anything to this let me not run this code okay let me directly run this code what was happening here if i write here get hmm? if i write here get the student was getting saved yesterday this code was correctly working yesterday okay so now don't think about the angular application because i am not even running the application i didn't do npm start anything so application is not running so forget about this don't think about anything let us check whether this get is working or not what we did yesterday so let me go to our browser what is the path localhost 4600 slash add student right so is this student already there let me check it is not there okay if i run this code if i run this url it should automatically add it right this is what sir did not my code so i'll go to the browser and i'll write instead of students all right add student okay something happened there is the it is not reloading that means a request is complete let us see whether we have any error or not so in our console you can see there is no error then we will go here and now i'll refresh the page i'll just switch the pages i can see the object has come that means our whatever sir wrote yesterday is working now let me not do anything and change this get to post the moment i write post what will happen what will the express do i'm not saying it will post or something what is the first step express will do what huh say i explained three four times what will happen the moment i write po huh are the moment it knows that it is a post request it will ask for the request dot body it is there or not if the request dot body is not there it will not work okay now let us see when i run this add student so i change the name in the uh, ravi i write harish and is uh, react js and uh, let's say rb 28 okay save this go to the browser and i'll reload this route only same route so cannot get it is saying and uh, did the, the student get added here no so why why that is not working because the moment i try to post here it is checking for the req.body in the req req exists req will always be there if you do console or log of res req you will get a big thing but inside the req.body nothing is there so that's why nothing is working okay so but we can't write here get no? we have to write here post only so first step is done now what is the next step the thing is this thing i don't want why why do i not want this part so it will come from front end i don't want to i cannot never i can put it here so i'll remove this that means this object i'll remove not the remaining part that remaining part is express part that is bongo's part i cannot remove this part in this new student what will come new student of what do we pass till now what we were passing till now ah object where is that object front end when i send it from front end where does it come in the request where request dot body so that means it will be in so request dot body is an object is the same object ah you have not seen till now that is what we are expecting right so req dot body 
Okay. So this is the correct syntax to save a document in the MongoDB collection. Okay. But we have not seen the output till now. We are thinking this code will work, but we don't know. We don't know whether the, I told you that RQ.body contains the object, but are you sure? I may be lying also, no? So how do we know what is there in RQ.body? Console.log. We have to do console.log of RQ.body so that we can check. But that will happen only when I run the code from there, no? From the front end, I have to do the request. So let me do that part now. Okay. So this part is actually complete. There is nothing to write here. Okay. Now what we'll do, we will comment these lines and we will check what is there in RQ.body. Okay. But for that before, let me run that code there. So what I'll do, I have created the function, but I have not called it anywhere. So I'll have some use effect kind of thing here. I'll inside the use effect directly, I'll call add new student. No button, nothing. That thing you will do. You'll have your form. You'll have one save student button. When I click on that save student button, this method will be called. But now what I'm doing directly in the use effect, I'll put the add new student. It will automatically, the moment the component loads, app component loads, it will directly add one student. Let's see. So <clears throat> here I'll do some initial setup. Don't worry about all these things. These are not necessary. Just think that I am doing one use effect. Okay. Inside this method, I will call the this slot add new student function. Okay. Done. Nothing. So what this add new student is doing? It is doing the, it was requesting a post request with this body. That's it. Do it in your own way in Angular, React, whatever you want. Okay, fine. So let me run this Angular application. <clears throat> it is running. So nothing to do. So what we need here is our express app working fine. It is working fine. We have here post method. And what we need, the moment I call it from there, it will come, the request will come and it will save the object in rq.request.body. So let me write the line console. Dot, so we will not save anything. We don't know what is coming in the rq. Where is that? thing so console.log of just for the time being i am writing rq.body let us see what is that it is coming in the form of object it is coming in the form of string we don't know we have to check just we know that this code is correct we should not put it okay we should check now let us see so what i'll do i'll uh, run that application that is localhost 4200 okay the moment it does this some things will be happening Okay, it is not showing here because it is not sent from this application. So now, I don't need this application for the time being. Okay, the moment uh, I run the application, first, which component loads in any application? In, huh? Which component in the React or Angular? Which app component loads? Isn't it? So, the moment the app component loads, its use effect will be called. Hmm? Its use effect is called means what? Use effect is calling this method inside it. Empty array use effect on mount. So that means it is sending the request also. Okay, now let us see. Do we are we getting any error here? No, I'm getting something undefined. So. I am getting console.log rq.body. I am getting undefined. That means something is wrong. Okay. What is that something? We have to see. So now, these errors are coming because of some other reasons. It is trying to come, but we are not getting it. 
so there are some more setup we need to do in our mongoose application when there is a post request kind of thing when do we send something in the body in which methods in get method do we send something in the body no in post yes in delete id where does it come ID will come as a param in the URL. That is a URL param. That is not body. And put request. And that object is what? Again, it will come in the body. So for get and delete method, we don't care about the request. Get and delete are directly dependent on the URL. But post and put are heavily dependent on both URL and the body okay so whenever you are doing that kind of uh, body requests you need some extra setup in your express application not only mongoose it doesn't care about mongoose the express itself is stopping so just like we saw here course if you don't put this line you get one course error this is also creating some problem so we need what is this course known it is known as a middleware we need some more middlewares to set up this thing. Okay, fine. Now let us let me see. <clears throat> so how are we using the middleware? This course, where are we using in the whole fine? This is the import statement. So forget about it. How are we using a middleware? Huh? App dot use. Whenever there is an app dot use of something, you should understand that is a middleware course is a middleware whenever you are using app.use app.use xyz that means xyz is a middleware okay now let me use something more app.use express.json okay to use this middleware before this line what i need to do import it because course is an ex external library but what am i doing here am i importing this thing why because this json is part of express i'm writing express.json so when i import express automatically dot json is also coming but we were not using it now we are using it okay that is one thing then one more middleware i'll use app dot use app dot use express dot url encoded this url encoded will take take one object okay extended true is the object we have to pass to this middleware okay so these both these are responsible for correctly handling the request if there is a request object and these two things are not there it cannot handle it okay lot of post and put method for get we have seen we never use these two lines till now but we were getting uh, for uh, for params also when we were doing uh, pug all that params we didn't use these two lines right then also that was working. That means get will work directly. Get and delete, they are directly dependent on URL params. URL or URL params. So there is no issue. Course will also create no error if you are not sending the request from some other application. If you are running on the browser only localhost 4600 student, uh, that course is not needed. But we are doing it from Angular or React, so we need that. Okay, so these three are the middlewares. So I'll put a comment here middlewares okay fine now let us do this thing again and let's see what happened see below instead of undefined what came object what is that object which one i sent from front end application okay so this is how you have to set up the express application so these two things are needed that i have already told you these two middlewares are needed for handling request 
now okay this thing is working but is it saving what is the browser saying browser nothing error no error shall we check the mongodb here refresh go to so which object we got here let me check once ravi java jv1 we are getting this so that object was already there okay so let me do it from beginning okay so let me do something i'll delete this one let us check from the beginning earlier it was not even working no now we'll check again so i have only one person rohit batch rv21 mean mean stack now let me change the data here let me write here harish react js rb some batch 20 cml okay save this the moment i save this automatically the application reloaded and it called that method because it is in the use effect okay the moment it is in the use effect automatically i got it first name harish ports react js batch rb27 that means the request has gone with the body so the body will it be saved in the mongodb if i check here will i get the now tell me if i click on the students will i get that new object hmm? sorry okay so what i'm asking is i sent the request from the front end right i told what i told that save this object i didn't say save or do anything i said send this as a post request in the post request to this url you pass this object it went to the app express application okay and i even got the console.log below so what i'm saying is i'm asking you whether now if i click on students will i get that object or not hmm? what do you say yes or no i just th want three answers from you say fast yes or no just no why is there any reason hmm? i'm not getting it because i had already commented these lines to save the code i am doing only console.log i was just checking in the req i am getting the body or not because if i am not getting anything in the body just like what we saw here at this point at that point this whole thing will not work whatever we want to do okay fine now we can once we are getting the data we can uncomment these lines now i save this and i got it okay hmm? Hmm, because that line is executing now if i comment it how it will execute now it is working now this way i can pass any student so let's say now i want another student ramesh hmm Hmm. if you want to add more objects you will add in the form now and if you add in the form this object will be changed again and again again and again you will post new objects ramesh angular angular batch 26 save it automatically method is called post method is called post method is called means the request is coming to this req and it is doing we are getting the console.log it is doing new student.save where we are passing the req.body to the new student model earlier we were passing plain object now we are passing req.body which contains that okay so that whatever the data is coming that is being converted so req.body i want it to be in the form of object now who is doing that this line is doing 
express.json it is taking the request and converting it to json so that it can be stored otherwise this new student will not take it if i pass a string here will it take it because new student is expecting correct schema the object should be in correct schema if i put a wrong schema it will not work okay fine now <coughs> Now we have seen how this thing is working. So a reload, the new student should come. So new student is coming. Okay, fine. So whenever we save new students, what this MongoDB is doing, it is adding one ID, object ID. Can you see it is adding automatically on no? And one version is also there, V0. This we had hard coded on our own first object. That's why that V is not there. But when you do post request, this view will be there. So it is better to remove everything. You should always have an empty collection. And then you post new objects. So that all the properties will be there. Now V is also there. Okay, fine. That is one thing. Now we have to move forward to more methods. So can you tell me these middleware in for what request we need post and put where there is a the body involved wherever the body is involved we need to use express or json and express the url encoding okay fine now let us do some other method which is which does not involve these things what method is there delete get is already done hmm. so let us now go for delete what do we do for delete okay so what do we so how should i write it app dot so it should match there right app dot delete of one route what will be the route and in the delete where do we pass the id for deleting i have to pass id huh as in the route as what is that word called params as a route params we have to pass the id so we have already seen in our first class second class how do we write the id params in the route so let's say the path is delete delete student and how do i pass the params slash colon id okay so here I can write anything actually ID A B C X Y Z. But for our convenience, I'm writing ID. Okay. So this is the URL. But what should happen that I have to write after here, right? So REQ comma RES. And we will do something here. Okay. So now again. So where will that ID come? A console.log, what should I check to get the ID? Here to get the body, I was checking req.body, but this is a delete method. Here there is no body, so I don't need req.body. Then what do I want? Console dot log of what? There is no params object here. Where is the params object? If I put here, it is saying any rq dot param this was already discussed okay so what i have to do from there i will pass only the id i'll pass the url and the id only nothing else okay so let me uh, write the method delete method for that so add new student just after that delete student is one method so don't worry what is going on inside this delete student if i delete it from the form or table i'll have id from there that i'll pass from there that means in the parameter i'll have the id right okay so id is of type any so this id i have to do this dot http dot delete is the delete method where i'll pass the first the so directly in the url i'll pass the params right so what will be uh, so i'll use the strings like this dollar what is the dollar dollar this dot url slash
dollar id url slash id that is what i have to pass to the express application so express application will get this url and it will check what is there in the params how does it know that this is params because of this colon whatever i write after delete student so this part should match okay mm. okay no problem that is not a problem because that will happen in a separate way okay so whenever this request will be called this dot url will not work this is for add student path okay so what i'll do i'll remove this add student from here i'll add it here or may i make it add url this is the add url so i am using that so delete url i will put it differently just for the time being in your application don't do like that you will have only up to here in the url only up to here in the url i am telling you again and again i don't want to see this kind of add url delete url edit url put url post url I don't want many URLs. I only want one URL. Okay. Just for the time being, I am showing. Don't just copy whatever I am doing. So, delete URL is nothing but. Delete student. Okay. So, this dot. Add URL. This dot delete url okay so after the delete url i'll have the slash id so that id will go there and it will get here now now the thing is am i passing some id no so let me call even that one so now i'll not call the add new student no need in the use effect i'll call the this dot delete student delete student of some id so what is the id do i know the id when I have my application, the application will automatically fetch. So let me do one thing. Let me go to the MongoDB com compass. And uh, is there any more students added? Okay, one more Ramesh copy has been added because it is in the use effect. Again and again, it is a rendering and it is calling. So let me delete this for the time being. But we should not have two ID same. Okay, fine. No problem. Uh, that I have to have done from there itself okay no issues so i want to delete this ramesh object okay so let me do one thing let me show you this way i'll reload this application and i can see two ramesh are there which one you want to delete tell me second one or third one anyone tell me third one okay what is the id of the third one can you see the id are you able to see the id this is the id okay it stores this in the form of this so i'll copy this id and i'll directly pass it in the delete student function like this but it should be a string always okay what this will do this will call the delete student method which will uh, have the url along with the params that params will go as an id here and it will go to the express application where is the express application this is the express application here delete student path will match id will come and rq.params are we getting the id let's see that okay now i have two i did i save the document i didn't save it the moment i save it automatically app.component will load and it will call that method okay so the method is called that means i should get it here okay i didn't do so what happened here nothing happened let's see so i'll reload this page am i getting anything so this method is called or not we don't know right uh, 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 uh. let's see what happened no need to worry ha, 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 ha. okay okay i didn't do this part mm. okay so 
I got something. Console.log of rq.params. I did. So I'm getting it there. Right? That means params is there. So if I have the params, then I can use it to delete it from MongoDB. In normal JSON server also, we are doing that only. We are getting the ID and we are telling Angular or uh, uh, JSON server, delete this ID. This whole object delete it. Right? So here also I'll use this rq.params and tell MongoDB, please delete that product or student who is having this ID. Which ID? rq.params. Okay. Now I have to know the method for that. What method is used? So there's a method called so whenever we are doing this method save on what we are calling new student this new student is nothing but this student only that is known as a model so all methods in mongoose works on model dot something model dot save model dot delete model dot update i'm not saying the correct method but that's how it works so here what i will write what is the model name student student dot delete one the method okay delete one is the method where we have to pass one object what will be that object it will have what we want to do it so here i am deleting on the basis of what id I am not deleting on the basis of first name, last name. No? So I will pass that whole thing here. If I want to delete on the basis of first name, I will write here. First name Ramesh. Okay. Let us check whether first name Ramesh will work or not. Let us first see this uh, MongoDB. What is happening here? So what we are having? We are having three products uh three students this is the 973 right 973 i had passed here yes so it should delete the last one so uh okay so i am uh, i have to delete it according to id only okay so let me pass here first name let me first try with first name what is the first name of this Again, so it will get confused if I pass first name because two persons are there with first name. So that means deleting with first name, last name, age, batch, anything is not recommended because two persons may be there who is having name Govind. Then how will express no? But is there two Govind having same ID? Never. So it is always recommended to delete people or documents according to ID. But where is the ID stored? Is it stored in first name? See the document. Is it stored in first name? Is it stored in course? Is it stored in batch? Where is it stored? The ID is stored where? Underscore ID. Underscore ID is the property name. If I write their ID, it is wrong. There is no property called ID here. We have underscore ID. We have first name. We have course. We have batch. We have underscore underscore v see here don't look at p these are the five properties we have so you have to use only one of them so huh v is version don't think about that if i change the values the version will change when i update the version will change okay fine now let us let me go to our express so what i will write here what is the so in delete one we pass one filter you can see there it is saying about Ah, filter query. Can you see? So we have to pass here one filter. What is that filter? Underscore ID is what? ID should be which one you want to delete? And the third one is having what? And the, where is that ID number here? In this block of code, where is that ID number? ID number you are, are you passing from there? From the front-end application, what I'm asking you tell me first. Are you sending the ID from the front-end application? Huh? Yes. Okay. Say that, yes or no. Don't say 
these things. Okay. Now, where is that coming? Huh. So, that thing I have to ask here. You guys are so dangerous. When I ask where is the ID, you can't say rq.params. When I ask you, are you sending it from there? Then you are saying rq.params. What kind of answer you are giving? When I'm asking what, answer that. Don't give advanced answers. Okay. So, student.delete1 id colon rq.params. That means rq.params is having a string which is coming from the front end. And uh, I'm telling the express, please go to MongoDB and uh, search there underscore id which is having this string. Okay. And delete that object. But this delete one, if you see at the end, it is saying mongoose.query is the return type. So these mongo uh, query kind of things can be handled using a dot then method. Okay. This dot then is also available here. So let us see if I don't use the dot then, is it deleting or not? Okay. Save it. Running at 4600. Fine. So we are doing everything correct, right? The application is here. Uh, sorry, application is doing this. So let me reload this application once in the browser so that this method will be called. This method will call means this ID will be passed. ID will be passed means it will go to the mongoose. And I should get something here in order to do console.log, but we'll do that later on. But let us see is it deleting or not. Without that callback, is it deleting or not? Okay. So let us let us go to the reload and the reload happened. Uh-huh. Ah, compass will go. It should delete the last one, right? I'll reload the page, go to products, come back to students. Did it delete? No. That means we need the callback part dot then something. Okay. Save was working without that, but this one is not working. So let me add the dot then. So student dot delete dot then one callback function will be there. Some ABC I'll write. I don't know what is that callback giving us, right? So I'll just do console.log of ABC. I don't know what is ABC now. Nah? So I'll write like that. When I know that it is response request, I'll write response request. But response is not coming from there. Nah? Response is coming here, isn't it? So I'll do console.log of ABC. Oh, something happened. App crashed, something, something. So what is the issue? Let us check. Okay, working fine. Some other issue was there. Let us now reload the application and check. So I reload, no issues. Are we getting any error? Yes, we are still getting some error. What is it saying? It is saying something. <clears throat> in it promise undefined catch function caught true symbol mongoose okay student dot delete one rq dot params delete one is this uh id is this dot ten is this okay dot then abc and then so and anything happened here if there is an error nothing should happen okay nothing happened Okay, no issues. Let us check that once. Mongoose delete one. Where it got stuck? <clears throat> Are it? Hmm. Delete one. Mm, character dot delete one of this. But this is not the page return query. There is a first thing. We have to go delete at most one. Okay. Query delete one. Yeah. So we use the model dot delete one. Await means we can use the then name added stark. Okay. Everything is fine. And returns first document that matches condition from we have to but delete check most one. Okay. Everything is fine. Let us check. 
So when I'm passing this, uh, console log of RE is okay. What is happening here? Console log of REQ dot params. Okay, I'll clear the console once. Let us check from the step one. <clears throat> okay. Node mon. Ha. Huh. What happened, you know? <laughs> what is the URL we need? What is the URL we need? Delete student slash ID. But what URL was loading here? Localhost 4200. So nothing was happening. Okay. So. Uh, okay, let's see why that happened. Because when I do this thing, I should load this URL, right? This dot delete URL slash so anything wrong happened here this dot delete url what is the delete url already delete student is there localhost so is it delete student to check the path yes delete student slash id so slash id is coming from here fine okay let us check that directly this is the id right so what should be our path localhost 460 maybe some uh, error from angular side also i don't know so let us see delete student slash that id hmm? so if i okay is my express application running yes it is running so let me run this code enter cannot get delete student something it is saying so that means the wrong thing is here so why that happened delete student slash this app dot delete hmm? fine delete student is there delete student is there id i am passing it is saying cannot get mm -hmm. sorry Once check. Here everything is fine. Here nothing is there, but the express itself is not working because it is saying cannot get that path. Oculus 4600 delete student of this. This is the ID. When I'm passing this, I should get it. student delete dot delete one delete one is having a query query means dot then uh -huh. sorry uh -huh. so uh, those things are for uh, that thing now post and put it doesn't have as i told you delete doesn't care about any body so there is no that kind of thing. So we are getting this part up to here. It is working, right? Delete student. So delete student of ID. If I do this, so there is something wrong from this side. Let me check. Uh, <clears throat> local host 4200 was the Angular application. Moment it is running. That means I should get the ID. I'm getting the ID. That is fine. The problem came from here. I'm getting the ID. Ha. Ah. Now tell me. REQ dot params. When I did console dot log of REQ dot params, uh, are you sure that REQ dot params is having the ID? What is REQ dot params? How do you come to know? By doing console.log. So what did you get in the console.log? Tell me. Where the ID? REQ.params is an object. Huh? REQ.params is an object. That object directly, if I pass to this ID, how it will work? So what should I pass there? 
dot id rq dot param is an object to in, to take the string i have to pass the side dot dot id okay so if i pass two three params it will be inside one object id title price if i want price i'll pass rq dot params dot price rq dot params dot title rq dot price params dot id okay now let us see mm -hmm. ah okay fine now everything fine now let me reload the angular application even if it is at local 4200 in the use effect it is calling delete student slash id okay reload in angular no error in express no error something it gave in the console log of abc i don't know abc is response or what that's why i wrote abc what did i get one object again acknowledged true deleted count zero if it is zero there is something wrong okay i'll tell you so let us not go to that part now i'll come to that but uh, what happened here let us reload products student fine okay okay so actually we ran too many delete calls in the process in that process only this was deleted actually but what this thing gives us is how many things were deleted so what is the met uh, method name how many things it will delete why because we are passing id and that id will pass match only one id if i pass here first name ramesh it can delete two also if there are five people with name ramesh how many people will be deleted five people so here deleted count will show me what how many will be deleted if c delete one is the method that means it should show me deleted count one it will always show me deleted count one here what happened it was already deleted so that's why it is saying i didn't delete anything okay now let us see that we'll see that thing now what happens when i pass different kind of parameters here and what kind of output we get in this abc okay so this abc is telling us what it is acknowledged true what is the meaning of acknowledged acknowledge means i am sending one message to you in whatsapp in whatsapp when i am sending one message after getting the message what happens i get to see one tick first what is the meaning of one tick that means the message was sent from my side that is acknowledged number one first acknowledgement i got then i see a double tick that means the message was received by you that is second acknowledgement third acknowledgement what i see blue tick double tick that means you have seen the message this is known as acknowledgement okay whenever we are calling and all all those things the moment it is ringing trr, trr, that sound that means this is the first acknowledgement that his phone is ringing he is not receiving that is different double tick is there that is okay blue is not there he is not seeing so ringing means that is first acknowledgement he receives it then ringing stopped that means he received it after ringing stop no voice that means he ended it i can listen his voice that means that is again another acknowledgement it is telling me that he received a call okay this is what acknowledge so when i'm deleting acknowledgement is done okay it is telling me that it is successful acknowledged false means it didn't even go it stuck somewhere it went to mongodb but mongodb told me that no something is wrong okay okay fine so acknowledge will always be true while deleting but delete count will differ if it is deleting one document it will tell you one if it is the deleting more than one document it will show you more let us see one by one so let us first uh, how many documents are there here now only two are there okay let me add one 
so for adding what i should do i will call this method hmm. so here i will comment this i will write this dot add new student of new student that this dot new student and i'll uh, what happened this dot add new student oh sorry 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 no no arguments because it is take it will take directly so i'll na change the name so what a person do i have here i have one harish react js right i'll have another harish from angular so i'll name here harish from angular angular batch 29 save it the moment i save it it automatically called the add new student so first let me check is there any error no error first name harris course angular got added i'll check here so one more harish has come here okay now i'll try to delete this one according to id till now we know only id and that is the best way right Deleting according to name is not the correct way because it will delete the other Harish also. Okay, first let me do this. So I'll pass this ID in our uh, delete student method here and I will uncomment this and I'll comment this one. Now this will call the delete student. I called it, it has done. In the express, I can see acknowledge true. First time getting the rq.params. Then I thought acknowledge to deleted count one because with that ID only one person was there. Other person is having different ID. Okay. Now let us go to our MongoDB. Refresh products students. Is it working fine? Fine. Okay. Now we will see the other way of deleting. That is deleting with respect to name. Then what will happen? So let me again add that Harish once again. I'll add that Harish once again. So what will happen? This will add the another Harish which is from Angular or React, whatever it is. Let me check what it added. So I have now two Harish. One is from React, one is from Angular. Now I will delete this Harish not according to ID. I want to delete according to first name. Then it must delete how many people? Two people and in the response it should give me delete count as two. That is the expected behavior. Let us check now. So what I will do? I will go to my application. Here I am passing uh, this ID right. In this ID I will pass Harish. Okay, I'll comment this add student. So in the rq.params, I'm passing Harish, right? This Harish is going to this ID. Okay, fine. This name is ID that doesn't matter. I'll name it as FN. That means first name. FN. Okay. In the FN, what is coming? Harish is coming. Now this Harish will go where? Here. To this fn rq dot params i will get as in that object i will have fn harish okay so what i have to do rq dot params dot fn and here instead of id i have to write what is there here first name underscore id was there that's why i wrote underscore id I have to write here first name. So I am telling MongoDB to delete that object which is having first name Harish. But when it goes there, it will see there are many. Now let us see. But the method name is delete one. Will it do that? We don't know what it will do. Let's see. Save everything. I will uh, save this file. Automatically it will call and no error here. What is again? It is still deleting one only. So which one is it deleting? Let us see. First one is react. Last one is angular. Which one it deleted? Let us see. 
it deleted first one why because the method name is delete one so like that we have other methods called delete many okay so what this will do this will do the same thing but uh, let me do that thing again so i'll add the student which is harish is it already loaded yeah harish has already come now i'll delete many i'll call the delete many method so delete many is getting the same fn now harish so what do i do i just reload the page so here delete many is activated no i'll activate the delete student method reload automatically i should ah in our express what did i get acknowledge true delete count two so where should i check i should go to compass reload products students two objects are deleted okay so it is according to you what you want to delete you want to delete all the angular students from this list then you will select course angular course angular if you pass in the params it will automatically delete all the angular students okay like that uh, are we ready for the put method also let us finish okay it won't take much time just 10 minutes okay fine so now if we go for put method what will happen we need again the those middlewares it will depend on the req right okay so for that i need a update what is the meaning of put update hmm but update there are two types of update one update is i want to change so let me add more students huh? <clears throat> okay we'll take a break one minute just give me two so till now we are done with get post and delete now we need the last method which is the update so that is the put method we know it is a put method but uh, so for updating there are two things okay if you have come across those things we have two methods called put and patch okay so we'll see which method we want we'll put do all the things or do we need the patch we'll see that okay so let us see here <clears throat> hmm. so now first thing is i need the method in our this thing so first you need to know what is put and what is patch okay so even i will check now whether put will do both the things or we need a patch so first we need to know that what is put and patch when i say it is a put request in general in mongodb it may have some different meaning that is i don't know we'll see that but in general put method means i'm changing the whole object the first name harish till now in uh, till now in json server also how we were doing if i want to change only one of them what i do i remove everything and put a new object again right i don't go to only the angular and change the angular what i was doing i take another uh, object i change which value i want to change but the three properties will be there same object i post it to that id okay so that's how we were doing that is actually not a patch request that is known as a put request what is patch in patch i don't pass whole thing i only say change the first name to ramesh it will go there it will find the id where that person is there and it will put the 
new value. It will re replace the Harish with Ramesh. It will not touch the course and batch. Okay. Okay. Hmm. This is known as patch request. In normal HTTP. In MongoDB, what is happening? I don't. We'll see that now. So now we'll start with the first method where we change everything. Everything means not the ID. ID will always remain constant. ID will always be unique. Only the other things we will change. Okay. Now let us do that. So what has happened here? Uh, it deleted everything. Huh? Okay. Let me add the people first. So what uh, person I want to add? Ah, okay. Add student. If I just reload it. Recording. Okay. So it is adding the student. What happened? Ramesh, Harish, Harish. Okay. Two times it got added. Okay. No problem. This is what we want. By mistake it added. But now I will use the update. What I will do? I will change this whole object. The last one. The last one I will change. First name to Ramesh. Course to Java. Batch to some Java batch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will put another name. Hmm? I will put Govin. Okay. Yeah. So I'll change this whole object to a new object. That is my uh, on the basis of HTTP. We don't uh, know that as a put request. Okay. So let me write right here. If it is a put request, I have to write here app dot put app dot put. We need a URL and then the callback function req comma res equal to something something we need to do what is the path i want to put so while uh, doing update what do we pass in uh, normally what we did in uh, json server ha huh. so this post met uh, put method is a combination of all these things actually we need params also we need body also in the params we pass the id go to that id and uh, replace that object with this object right so i need slash update student slash one id hmm? and in the req we'll have the body new thing so i don't i won't i don't want to do again console.log of body. body will always have the new object okay we need it if we get some we'll I will write that if I get some error. Okay. Now I will not put because now I know that the application is correctly working. Okay. Fine. So this method I have to create here in our front end application. So let me create one method update student. <coughs> update student will have one URL. <coughs> update URL localhost 4600 slash update student and uh, this update student will have http dot put this dot update url slash update student will have the id also and uh, this id i'll pass here okay and uh, we need the next object also what is the new student i want to add so here i have to pass one object so let me have the new object so updated student is one object which we will take from the form again hmm? okay updated student is equal to I'll take this data and I'll create a new object. Hmm. So first name, I write Govind. Course is Python. This is Python batch one. Okay. This is the object to be placed here. 
that means what how do i know this position id so i'll copy this id and i have to pass that id to this one right and here what do i pass this dot updated student okay and i will call this method here this dot update update student of this id and dot subscribe everything is fine we are passing the id in the params there i have to request rq dot params dot id i'll get it that thing i have to pass it to let's see what we have to do there okay so now here console.log of rq.params.id I will definitely get it rq.params hmm. this will give me object that id will be there so I hope you are clear so I will not check it now okay if I get error I will check now what is the method to do that so we have so the method that we need what we are doing we have to take the id search that id and then we have to replace the whole thing with new thing. Find, replace, right? Find in the first thing, find according to the ID and I replace the whole object. So the method is find one and replace. Okay. So student dot find one and replace is the method. Here again, I have to pass an object like this what will be the object underscore id is rq dot params dot id okay after it gets that it has to update this part will only find the object now what is the next thing find is done now replace replace it with what replace it with what another object where is that another object present here huh where 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 is it in this functionality where is this are we passing it from there are we passing the uh, a new object from here in this method Huh? Did dot updated student will go into where? This dot new student goes where? In the post and put, what do we need? Body. So this will go in the body. As I told you, put method needs params as well as argue dot body. So this will go in the body. This will go in the params. So this update is two step method. Find and replace. This part will do find. This part will do replace. So here comma the new object. Where is the new object? RQ dot body. Okay. But this will not work. We have to write the don then part also. Right. So T H E N then. So this A B C I wrote here A B C right. It was telling me about a deleted count, right? So I'll name it as deleted count. Okay. That is a correct way to say that deleted count. Okay. Don't write A B C. Okay. So here again I don't know. So now I want to write ABC because I don't know what is that response. So ABC, when I know what is the name, then I'll give a name. It is acknowledgement. It is what I don't know. So console.log of ABC. Okay. Now let's see what it is doing. So I'll save this and I'll go to my front end application. Is everything correct? What am I passing? I am passing the ID. So where is the ID? Did I pass it here? 
Yes, this is the ID. This is the ID for which one? 06C5. 06C5 means the last object. The last object, I want to replace it with Harish Angular AB29. I want to replace with Govin Python PB1. Okay. The moment I save this, update student will be called. Okay. In the browser, no error. Here, I'm, I got something because of this console.log of ABC. Okay. What am I getting? This is the old student I am getting. Can you see? Harish Angular AB29 was the old student. This is not the updated one. So that means this ABC is of no use to me. This is only useful if I want to alert Harish updated successfully. Harish updated to Govin. Ah, okay, fine. So this console log we leave it because we are not doing anything. Now let us see. We did it get updated there or not? Reload products students. Fine. Okay, fine. That is fine. Now we are done with this method where we replace the whole thing. What about only one value? The patch what we were talking about. Let us see that thing is possible or not. Mm -hmm. ha, so that V I didn't. So that thing needs to be when I do add student only then that will come. That's why that V is not there. So either you can add it from there. So that hyphen hyphen V is for keeping track of if the object was changed or not. Okay. So the moment I change it, I should change the V also from there. I can make it V1, V2, V3. Count of V should be incremented. Something like that. Okay. So that you your wish you if you want to add. Because when you are updating, you have the previous object also. Na? Find one and two. So when you have the object, you can take that V, what was the previous V, and you can increment and send it again. So that is not very useful, but what we need, the most important thing is this data and the ID. That is our most important thing. Okay, fine. Now, now let us see. I want to change this Python and PB1. Now the thing is, I have come to know that uh, Govind is not a Python student. The Python student, someone I am adding students now. So I wrote by mistake Govind. Python and PB1 is correct. I don't want to change that. I want to change only the Govind part. Instead of Govind, I want to write Suresh. That can be done. That is in general, that is known as a patch method. But let us see. This MongoDB, this express, I will not change this put to patch. Okay. I don't know whether that is known as a patch method or put method for MongoDB. I don't know. For express, it is okay. But what the, how does MongoDB react? I don't know. I know the method name only. What is the new method to be used? But let us see. Will this work or not? So, the, so for this kind of thing, uh, I'll have another method. Okay, Update student is the thing. So I will have another method. That is. I'll name it patch student. Okay. So patch student. Patch student will not. Uh, do the whole object. It will only one pass one small thing. So. I'll do this. I'll write here put only. Let's see what happens. ID is of type any. And here I will not pass the whole updated student. I will pass only one value. What is that value? First name. Suresh. Okay. Let us see. Here also I will write put. There also I will write put. Let's see what request it is going. Okay. Uh, okay. Fine. So now I want this dot patch patch student of I need the ID right 
So which ID I want to change? This one. This Govin one, right? Well, set that there. Uh, here as a string. Okay. Our express is fine. Express is totally fine. Add this ID. RQ dot body will get now not the whole object only this object first name Suresh is just is also one object now that will go okay now let us save this and uh, go to our express are we getting any error no error okay fine now let us see what is have what has happened here products so did it work the put method will always replace the whole thing with a new one okay so that's why first name Suresh came no course no badge nothing so that means it must be a what request patch request okay so now let me comment this first I will delete it directly from here okay this is one unwanted document I'll delete it as so I will add one student what is the student I want to add New student is Govind Python PB two. Okay, fine. So I run this and I get Govind Python PB two. When I add a V is coming, see. Okay, fine. So I want to do a patch request now. So what do I do here? Here I have to write instead of put, I have to write patch. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. There is a small error here. I write put here. Okay, fine. But the method I didn't change. Find one and replace. No, find one and update is the method name. And what did I change in Angular application? Nothing else, no? Uh, in the ID, I have to pass that Govind ID. So what is that Govind ID? This is the ID. And uh, I have to pass it here in the patch. Mm. Okay. Now let us see what has happened. Okay. So what did it do? <clears throat> so still it is not doing. Okay. Even if I change the method, that means I have to name it as a patch request only. Okay. Now let us go to our express application. First thing is I have to write here patch app dot patch find one and update find one and replace means whole replace it should be put request find one and update these things are all fine no worries in our day uh-huh sorry what this route ah, that is that you can write anything you can write abc also it doesn't matter it just need to uh match here okay fine so the path is update student, patch student. So what we need to do now? This method should be a patch request. And ID at this ID. So what is our stage now? Uh, we don't have a student, right? So first I'll add a student which I want to edit. So this add student, I'll do this. Express is saved. Express is saved. Okay, Angular application, if I reload, it will call add new student and it will add this student. Go in Python, pb2. Fine. Okay, I got go in Python, pb2. Now I will only update this object, the first name. Hmm. So I go to my component. What did I do? Patch student is the method. HLP.patch update URL is this ID. What is the ID? This is the ID. So this ID I have to pass in the patch student. 
that is not update student right this is the patch this is a different method okay patch student i'll call the patch student here okay patch student of that so that id will come here it will search for that id and it will only change the first name save it go to this reload go to product students what did i get suresh python pb2 okay so our total CRUD operations are over. We want to do put request, we want to do patch request. So what are the methods we have seen till now? We will go to our express explanation. Now we don't need our front end, okay? I'll close this. No need of all these things. Okay, fine. So what have we seen till now? To get the students, we use app.get. We give the URL and whatever we want to find, we can find using the dot find method student is the model for certain schema then to add student we need the post request but post request requires the body the body will be inside req dot body and if the moment the request gets some body we need some middlewares like express.json and express.url encoded extended true then to add the student after we get the object in the rq.body we pass it to new student and we use the save method done then to delete a particular document what we do we need the params we don't need any body we use the delete one or delete many method so we have delete one method which can delete only one document at a time if you want to delete multiple we will use delete many but the method will be same delete and that params we need to pass it in the condition whatever condition if it is id we'll pass it in the id if it is first name we'll pass it in the first name okay then we have the put and patch method what is put method doing put method is replacing the whole object and for that we need which Mongoose method find one and replace that is with put so i let me write that also the thing is not here screen is recorded so you can go through this once again find one and replace okay find one and replace is this find one and update is patch and this is actually delete single okay so for that i need to write here delete one if you want to delete multiple oh sorry 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 here i will not write delete single this is delete only huh. so if i want to delete more students we'll write delete many okay get a post that is uh, find save delete one delete many then we have find one and replace which will replace the whole object if you want to replace only one of them that will be a patch request where we will use the method find one and update okay so total crud is over now you should implement it with your front end angular or react totally with the back end everything should be done from the mongoose with the mongodb okay so next uh, we will learn some things more but uh, for the time being we are working on local host right later on we'll learn about mongodb atlas okay okay then that's it that's it for the session